A very common problem in data cleaning or data transformation jobs is the conversion of some list data structure into a data frame data structure. Lists in R are hierarchical data structures, whereas data frames or data tables are flat data structures. This crucial difference makes the transformation of the data structures a bit cumbersome. In this example, we have a nested list of two levels. That is, the list consists of elements, which are themselves lists of some primitives. Let's write this expression in R console and see the stru structure of the list f. Use str function to see the structure of the list f. This shows that f consists of a list of two elements. This is the upper or root level of our, of our hierarchical data structure. Each element of these two lists consists of lists of three elements. Their elements are primitives, so there is no more nested lists. Target structure is a data frame with three columns and two rows. Each list element should become a row. So, the question is, how can we transform the, list, the nested list f into this flat data frame? In this case, we can use the function rbind or rbind list because each element of the list f are lists that have the same structure. So, each nested list corresponds to a row and we are actually R binding these rows together. Note that there is a difference in the results of R bind and R bind list. R bind returns a matrix, whereas R bind list returns a data table. So, when we use R bind, we have to convert this matrix into a data table with an additional operation. To convert the matrix into a data frame or data table, we need to use as data table or as data frame functions. Let's take another example. Note that the elements of the list G are data frames. There is no nested list structure in this object. G is list of two elements where each element is a data frame. Whereas in the previous case, the elements of list F are again lists themselves. Again, we can use the function rbind or rbind list because each element of the list G is a data frame. We are actually rbinding these data frames together. Do rbind and rbind list work always? Unfortunately, no. There are several cases of nested list structures where you have to find more complicated ways to, tr to transform them into data frames. For example, take any list that has more than two levels of nested list. Calling rbind list on them will result in error, whereas calling rbind results in a data frame that is a little weird. Note that the first column of the resulting data frame is not a primitive. Here we can see the first column of resulting data frame more clearly. It is not a primitive data such as character or number. Instead, it is a list data. So the data frame became a non-flat data structure. A non-flat data frame is not something that our programmers expect to work with. It won't play nicely with subsetting functions. Therefore, we should make additional operations to convert this data frame into a proper flat data frame. 